Thanks for that, Caitlin. It is uh, just after 7, 18 minutes after 7 on a Friday. Two very special guests in this morning on my far left, John Vivacqua, who is the principal at uh, St. Patrick Regional Secondary School. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. And a very special guest uh, in between us, um, Bill Young, who will be graduating from high school tomorrow. Are you excited? Isn't that something? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So, uh, Bill, I'm going to start with you. Uh, tell me the story. How did this come to be, your graduation day tomorrow? Well, it's very odd. I was driving across. I was going to St. Paul's, or to General Hospital for an MRI. I stopped in front of the old school. I parked in front. And a young fellow came out, and he says, can I help you, sir? I'm in the no parking zone. So. And I said, well, I'm just looking at the old school. I first first student in here, I said, when well, we built it. Really? He said, would you wait a minute? And I said, fine. So out comes the principal. And that's what it started at all. That's right. I walked in, and you can tell him what happened from your end of it. Well, we had a <laughs> chat. Uh, and uh, very quickly, he started telling me about his fond memories about the school. And I took him um, to our gallery of graduates. And he sort of stopped around the early 40s. And he was peering. And I said, well, where are you, Bill? And he says, well, I never quite graduated. And uh, I guess before that, he was telling me about his memories of Monsignor Forger and all the, all, the, all the real important characters in our tradition, in our history at the school. And uh, when he said that in 1939, he, uh, the war broke out, his dad died, and he had to leave. He had to leave to support his mom and his brother. And uh, we talked some more, and he actually got the attention of some of our staff and some of our students. He actually spoke to a few students, and I kind of thought, you know what, I, I think it's time that we invite him back. And, give him his diploma so and the rest is history and he, we've we've had lunch and we've spoken and it's been it's been quite a thrill uh, Bill what did you think when they said uh, don't you think it's time you graduated well I thought he was kidding I mean it was just you know do you think oh what if they make me write a test <laughs> yeah, yeah. well at the correspondence school and business college but it's all changed mm -hmm. I, I deal with inches and feet and Miles, no, all this other stuff is different. You're pre-metric. Yeah. Um, what, uh, what are some of your favorite memories from, uh, from high school before you left? Well, as I say, starting all the way through school, and uh, uh, well, you got me stumped a little bit here because there's so many that I could couldn't even go through I them can all. Tell you, I can tell you. Okay. Uh, he, he told me of uh, his days trying to get to school. There was a, an old streetcar that I guess went down Main Street, and when he had the four cents, he would take the streetcar, but when he didn't, he would sprint as mad as he could because he didn't want to be late and get a detention. So he told me that, and he told me about, oh, his days of pumping the organ handle uh, for the choir, and uh, days of if he didn't get his homework done, he'd have to stay after school, and if that didn't work, he'd have to come in on Saturday. And of course, I laughed because we still do that. <laughs> really? So, some traditions don't don't die. Uh, so it was a real thrill. Yeah. Yeah. The, the teachers. We had sisters of St. Joseph there at the time, and they were they were tough. Mm-hmm. I'm to say they 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 really yeah. made you work. Now tomorrow you're going to be graduating from high school, basically. Also, a member of your family graduating tomorrow. Yeah, my granddaughter Savannah is graduating this year as well. And they say the things have changed, though. I mean, it's not like in my days. I mean, kids today have to have an education. Mm -hmm. In my day, we it was pretty easy to go out and find a job and during the war. And it, uh, what does Savannah think of her, grad, of her granddad graduating on the same day? Well, I think she's quite thrilled with it, too. <laughs> yeah, so um, you're going to cap and gown tomorrow? He'll be in cap and gown. I, uh, we ordered him a robe, and he's all, it's all ready to go. And I have to say that his classmates, the graduating class of 2009 from St. Pat's, are just thrilled. Just thrilled to have him as a part of, uh, of their class, so and do lots you have, of excitement. Do you have some inspirational words for your uh, fellow students today? Oh, I think I do, yes. I'll he does. Be able to he certainly does. Pass along some knowledge? Well, a little uh, bit more world experience? Well, I think we can a little bit on that, too. But, uh, no, it's, it's good, quite exciting, really. Well, good for you. Congratulations. Uh, I think it's great. And congratulations, too, to the school. It's a great thing that you guys are doing and, uh, and acknowledging uh, everything that, uh, that um, Bill has done. Um, what, what are your words of inspiration to the kids, other than, obviously, it's good to stay well, in school? You know, they're going out to school today. It's a whole new ball game for them now. I mean, they have a big decision to make, whether they 
going to post graduation? Do they stay at home or move away? They they're at a whole milestone in their life now that they have to make some decisions. And I'm sure they're going to make good ones. Uh, they've been very, very lucky because going to a school like St. Patrick's has always been one of the top schools in the British Columbia, and it still is, I'm sure of that. With John Vivacqua here, I think we've got a pretty good... He's a pretty good guy, is he? Pretty good principal? I think he is. Sometimes. He's taught me quite a bit in the few hours Has that he? I met him, yes. I love that. <laughs> All right, so then after graduation, what are your plans? Oh, I'm going to... I think I'll retire. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retire. I think you deserve that. We've got to... I've been up in the Nash Valley for so long, and we're going to get rid of the place. We've got a few people interested. And, uh, I'm looking forward to retirement. All right. Well, How many people can graduate and retire in the same year? Yeah, not very many. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, that's great, Mark. What a fantastic Certainly. story. That's terrific. Congratulations, Bill and John. Good to see you. Um, family watching, I think, up around in Terrace. Family watching good. there. And and say our, good we're watching our extended family, too. It's nice to come down and see you people in person because oh. we see you every morning. Oh, we love that. Every morning. Do you want to say good morning, morning to everyone up in <laughs> Terrace? <laughs> Hi, Terrace. Hi, Nash Valley and the Nishka. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. And I think, uh, I th oh, watch out for this guy, by the way. I think I have a temperature Terrace coming up in just a second. Congratulations again. So nice to see you in here today.